this is Miss Janelle with another episode of Art Explorers. Today we are going to be making our very own scratch board Greek story base. So if you're familiar with ancient Greek story bases, you know that they either come black over top of like a red orange color or they paint a red orange color over top of black. So we're going to learn a little bit about the reductive process and build our very own scratch board. So let's get started. So in the kit that you'll get from the library will be a few pieces of paper, a stencil for your vase, oil pastels in a range of orange, red, and brown colors, a foam brush, and temperate paint, as well as toothpicks to scratch your scratch board. What you will need is a pencil, and some scissors. You can also use other items to scratch your scratch board. I'm going to use a embroidery needle because it's a little less sharp and won't scratch through my paper. So if you have other items at home, you can use those as well. And then make sure you have something to put your paint on, whether it be a piece of cardboard, a paper plate, another piece of thicker paper. So what we're going to do first is we're going to use the oil pastel and we're going to color our entire outline here and you want to make sure that you do it very thick and you don't want to see any white of the paper. So this is going to be the base of our vase and when ancient Greeks would make story bases they would do it in different types of glazes. So we're going to think of this as like our first glaze and then we'll put the black temper paint over it as our second glaze. And it's okay if you go outside of the lines a little bit because we're gonna wind up cutting this out. Now we wanna make sure that we cover it completely so that when we scratch through the temper paint to the second layer, that we're not scratching any of the oil pastel off. If you have oil pastels at home, you could add additional colors as well. Traditionally, a scratch board, if you've used it before, they come in black and white or rainbow colors. So since we're making our own, we can kind of do whatever we want with the color underneath. A crayon would work as well, but oil pastels seem to be just a little bit nicer. They last a little bit longer. They're easier to blend. All right, so I have mine pretty much well filled in like that. So next I'm going to cut it out and then we are going to use the temper paint to cover our base. Now a story base traditionally in Greece would talk a lot about myths, gods, kings, and queens. But for our story base, we can think about a story that connects with us. Maybe a story about you, or perhaps a story about a family member, or even a story about your favorite book character. A lot of the story bases that were created also incorporated lots of patterns. So the main part of your story base will be the story and then you want to decorate around it to do the pattern. When you cut the inside of your handle, make sure that you do it very carefully and fold the paper. If you need help from a parent or guardian, please go ahead and ask them to help you out. All right. So it's okay if a little bit of the pencil shows through on the oil pastel because again, we're gonna be covering this with our temper paint so that won't show. All right, so that is my vase all cut out with the oil pastel. So what I'm gonna do now, clear this out of the way here, is we're going to paint our temper paint over top of it. There's going to be enough in your container for you to do several layers. You wanna have at least two layers of temper paint over your vase so that when you scratch it, it doesn't crumple off. And we wanna make sure that we kind of have all of the strokes go in the same direction. Now 
And the reason we'll have to do two layers is because the tempera paint has a little bit of water in it and the oil pastel is mostly oil. So there's gonna be a little bit of a resistance between the tempera paint and the oil pastel. It's basically just gonna sit on top of the oil pastel and never actually absorb into the paper. So that's why it's really good to use for making your own scratch board. And tempera paint dries pretty fast. So you should be able to have your second layer on relatively quickly. So we can see that there's a little bit of the orange showing. So we're gonna let this dry and then we'll put on the second layer. After it's dried and you put on your second layer, you'll see that it's going to look a little bit chalky and that's good because like I said before, the oil pastel is sealing the paper and the temper paint is just kind of sitting on top of the surface of the paper. So that's what's gonna allow us to scratch into it. So I went with a more traditional story, uh, Greek mythology story for my base. And you can see that I put in some of the more traditional patterns. There are a lot of patterns that look like spirals or the water, a lot of patterns that look like braids, uh, blocks, a lot of kind of decorative circles. So when you go to decorate, you can use a pencil and gently trace over top of your um, black paint, you can see that it'll show a little bit. And that way you can kind of trace your design out before you start scratching. You can't use an eraser though, so whatever pencil mark you make will show. And so if you can see here, I made my little pencil line and I'm just gonna go over it with my uh, needle. And you have um, toothpicks in your kit, but again, you can use anything you want that is slightly sharp, but not sharp enough to cut through the paper. So when we do this, we're gonna do kind of quick, short strokes, and you don't wanna to push too hard. You can do a line like that straight across, but you see that it doesn't take all of the paint off. So you could, that's why we do like a short, quick stroke. And we kind of gently brush that away. So what we're doing here is showing the underneath of the base. So whatever you scratch will appear as orange. Whatever you leave will be black. So when you're thinking of your design, if you want the eyes to be black, you're going to want to scratch more of the paint off. It's kind of working on an image in reverse. So this is what we would call a reductive process, where we're taking something away. An additive process would be when we put something on top. So when we painted the black paint on there, that's additive. Since we're scratching it away, this is a reductive process. So when they would do vases in ancient Greece, they would do the glazes and then scratch away some of it and then paint on top of the other. So there is an additive and a retractive process in both ways that they would make the story bases. So you can see, I scratched away right where the pencil mark was and added a little extra layer of design work. There's a couple of pieces of paper so you can do more than one story base. And if you're having trouble figuring out what you want to draw, you can go ahead and use the stencil that we gave you as kind of a uh, a little drawing template and see if you like the way that your picture will look on the base. And you can see I bent the design so that it made it look like it was going around the side of the vase right here. And we kind of used a little bit of perspective having the decorations at the bottom go more towards the middle to give the illusion that the vase is three-dimensional and rounded. So that's as easy as it is to make your own scratch board story base. Go ahead and send us a picture of what you made and we can't wait to see you at the library. Have a good day.